Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. This week's tip is going to be taking a look at one of the features in the Appointment Book Pro. If I go to my Setup button, I'll click on Set Up the Practice, and we're going to go take a look at our schedule settings. Down here at the bottom, we have Appointment Color Names. Now I get the question a lot, what sort of names are you going to use for a color as opposed to the name of the actual color? Well, this comes into play when you're scheduling appointments and being able to quickly look at the scheduler and determine what an appointment might be pertaining to. So, for example, I can take the color purple, rename purple here off to the right-hand side, and call it a new patient appointment. And if I save my changes, we can then go to our scheduler, create a new patient appointment by double-clicking, skip past the patient search field, of course, and type in our patient's name. And then here under color, we can choose instead of purple, it now says new patient. I'll go ahead and set the length of the appointment, add some service codes from our multi-code, and we'll go ahead and edit this periodic exam to be a new patient exam. Save our changes, save the appointment to the schedule, and now when you look at the schedule, you'll see the purple show up where the patient's name line is. That would indicate to me, just looking at the schedule, that I have one new patient coming in here. Of course, everyone will start to get to know the colors just by looking at them and understanding what they represent, but in case they forgot what color purple represents, you can double-click on the appointment to edit it, and then here next to the color you see our description, New Patient. What some offices also do for these appointment colors, instead of using them for procedures or perhaps in conjunction with procedures, is indicating if someone is a self-paying patient or a cash patient or also by insurance type. So if I go to File and Program Preferences, which is the alternate way of getting to the same section aside from the Setup button, I can click on my Schedule Settings and once again choose my appointment color names and perhaps instead of green we might say this is a cash patient we could say navy is high production and we could say gray is perhaps a medicare patient and we'll save our changes now when you're looking at scheduling an appointment for an existing patient, and perhaps it's the end of the month, I'm most likely gonna call my cash patient to come in sooner if possible versus my Medicare patient if I'm looking at trying to meet a certain collections goal of the month because I know my cash patient is likely gonna pay me a portion of their visit on that day versus waiting for insurance to kick in their part. Some offices will also use the colors to indicate if a patient is on a discount plan, a PPO versus HMO or indemnity, and a wide range of other creative ways to use those appointment colors to tag your patients. As you can see, there is another color on the appointment and it runs along the side of the appointment. That purple color is set based on the provider's color and which provider I scheduled this patient with. That color is going to show up in a different section in the system, also under Setup, but it will be assigned through setting up the providers. And here's where I've chosen my purple color for this provider. So in case you were wondering if you should use the colors to indicate which provider the patient would be seeing, just keep in mind that the providers can have their own assigned colors and so that you don't have to give up one of your appointment colors for the provider since you have a separate section for that already. I hope you've enjoyed this week's tip of the week and as always, if you have any further questions, feel free to contact Dentmax at one 800 704 8494. Thank you.